Welcome back, JC here, and here's how you connect your X8R receiver to the SP Racing Evo Fly Controller. I'll be leaving links to my X8R, Evo, and Trance playlist in the top right of your screen and description below, so check those out for other helpful videos. On the Evo Fly Controller, here are the input pins. If we look on the back side, you will see where it says ground 5 volt R2, which is uh, UART number 2 receive or PPM. The next one is the transmit for UART number 2 or telemetry. And then you have the VBAT pins, which I do have a video showing you how to wire your VBAT pins to get voltage in your telemetry. Just check out the Evo playlist. So what I've done is solder a three wire servo cable in that order with ground, power, and then the signal wire on what seems to be the PPM pin. But like I said, if we look on the back side, it's PPM or receive for UART number two. And uh, we will actually configure this in Betaflight to be the UART number two receive. Uh, the reason for this is because we will be using this X8R in SBUS mode and SBUS requires a UART port. If we go to the X8R, normally this is set up in PWM, meaning uh, you will have a signal wire for each and every channel, uh, plus a power wire and a ground wire, so a minimum of 10 wires just for 8 channels. Uh, for one, we couldn't do that on this flag controller even if we wanted to because this flag controller doesn't accept a PWM receiver. Uh, but the other thing is with SBUS, you will get 16 channels. SBUS is faster than PWM and it will only require three wires. So if we look at this diagram here, we will see it's signal, positive, and negative. It's referring to these three pins down here. So I will take this uh, three wire servo cable and plug it in in that order with the signal wire towards the inside, ground on the outside. Now for telemetry. Uh, telemetry requires a U UART port as well and specifically it takes a transmit on a UART port. We do still have the transmit pin for UART number two, but UART ports can only do one thing at a time and we are already using it for SBUS. This means we will have to use a different UART port. So we have UART number one over here and UART number three over here. You can use either one you want. Personally, I'm using UART number one because it's only the receive and transmit pins where UART number three has those two plus a positive and negative pin. So if we were to add in an on-screen display, that would be better for the OSD. So what I've done is soldered a wire onto the T1 pin and the other end of that wire, I just spliced in a single servo connector. Going back to the X8R, on the back side, we will see another diagram. And this is for the smart port, which is telemetry. And uh, we only need the smart port pin. So I will just go ahead and plug that in now. I know this has a positive and negative pins as well, but uh, we are actually getting power already through the front. You don't want to add in another power and ground pin to the backside. Uh, that wouldn't be good. Uh, but besides, like I said, you don't even need it. So now if we take a USB cable and plug it in, that will power the flight controller and receiver both. At this time, if you have not yet bound your receiver, then go ahead and do that. Just check in my X8R or Trans playlist, and I have videos showing you how to do that. I've already bound mine, so if I turn my transmitter on... Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. I now get the solid green light, uh, meaning that's been okay. properly bound and everything is working. Once you get the solid green light, you can continue. Going into beta flight, we'll just connect. Or you can use clean flight, it doesn't matter, which whichever one you prefer. Uh, go to ports, and because we put the telemetry wire on UART number one, we first want to turn off the data because like I said earlier, UARTs can only do one thing at a time. Then come over to telemetry and even though this is a free sky receiver, these are different types of telemetry and the X8R uses smart port telemetry. So choose smart port. Then for UART two, because we put SBUS on it, we will come over here to RX and turn on serial RX. Then save and reboot. Now go to configuration, scroll down, 
and we want to choose RX serial because that's what SBUS is. Then down here, choose what type of serial, which is SBUS. Scroll down again and make sure telemetry is turned on. Then save and reboot. Everything should be working now, so to test it, go to receiver. You can move your joysticks around. Roll pitch, yaw, and throttle should all be moving now. If you have created any switches, you can test them out as well. Things are about to get real. Hybrid mode. Stunt mode active. Cheat mode active. All of that's working. Now go into the Tyrannus, press the menu button, hold down the page button to go backwards a page to telemetry, scroll down and discover new sensors. Once it's done, press enter again to stop discovery, and there is all of your sensors. Now VFAST is going to be your voltage. Uh, like I said, I have a video showing you how to get voltage in your telemetry. If you are only getting four sensors, then here's why. Uh, telemetry actually comes from two different places, your receiver and your flight controller. As long as your receiver is getting power, you will always get four sensors. Uh, that's the sensors that comes from the receiver instead of the flight controller. Even if your telemetry wire is not connected to anything at all, you will still get those four sensors. So what this means is you are not getting any telemetry whatsoever. The only possible cause is uh, you just need to go back and recheck your wiring, recheck your configuration changes in beta flight or clean flight, and uh, go back and make sure everything's saved because sometimes some things don't save. And, and that's really it, that's the only causes. But that's gonna do it for this one guys. Check out this playlist for other videos and I will see you there.